welcome guys to my channel so if you guys don't know there's something about me that i feel like i have to tell you guys okay when i am grieving for anything food i will always make it come to pass so i was grieving for this fish roll i felt like i needed to eat fish roll like no one could tell me anything and un unfortunately i had everything already in my kitchen so i decided to make this mouth watering fish roll if you are interested in seeing how i made it keep on stay tuned and while you are there please subscribe so we'll be needing flour this is four cups of all-purpose flour warm water one cup of that my salt and sugar two cups of salt half a tablespoon of uh, salt my yeast i took the rapid one because i didn't have time so this is one quarter of yeast that's my unsalted butter the butter was actually five ounces and this is everything we will need for our seasoning so i went and i in a bowl i poured the warm water in it guys your water should be warm so i added my yeast in the warm water and i am going to mix it and then i will set it aside for it to kind of activate the yeast so while that was activating i went ahead and added my sugar and my salt in my flour and then yeah that's the salt i'm adding as well so i'm going to go ahead and mix everything properly and when i did that so i am going to add my unsalted butter um that is the unsalted butter i am adding guys don't use salted one else your fish roll will be too salty so i'm going to i'm going ahead and mixing everything and then it has been about five minutes and i am adding all my mixture now together so i'll add it and then i have my clean hands i will go ahead and mix my fish roll properly uh, i have never mixed it in a mixer so i don't know i always use my hands but if you have used your mixer or if you feel like it's gonna do the job just do it so i did that and i set it aside for about 30 minutes after 30 minutes this is what it was looking like it was looking very yummy already like you know i feel like i could just start eating that one but no so let's keep on so this is how fluffy looking eh? i don't know even how to say it. like guys look how fluffy your dough for your fish roll should be it should be this fluffy so uh why that was uh, why i set that aside i went ahead and i was prepping uh, my fish roll fillings or uh, you can season it with whatever but i had just my carrots and my onion um you can put other vegetables so this is sardine that i'm using i'm going to go ahead and crush the sardine i'm adding some drop of oil and i'm adding my maggi seasoning my curry powder my white pepper season it however you want it guys um like it's optional so i'm adding my carrots and my onions in there and i will mix everything together so when you do that this is how it should be looking like you can see it's looking already very yummy so i went ahead and i divided my fish roll into the sizes that i want and on my countertop because i like big spaces to do my my you know my work okay i don't want anything to limit me i went ahead and i flowered my surface make sure you do that guys and then i would roll my fish roll this is where the fish roll names start coming in so i'm going to be rolling it uh make it thinner if you want a thick fish roll don't over roll it but if you want it thin you should roll it to really be flat to your liking so i am going to roll this part i didn't want to fast forward i want you guys to see and this is the crucial part guys like this is the most crucial part in fish roll making uh, because most time people make fish roll if you put it in the pot everything opens back up if you don't want that i am rubbing my dough with 
uh, eggs, rub your dough with eggs. That will prevent your fish roll from opening in the pot. I did that so I will add my fillings. Add as much as you want. So this is how much that I added. And you can see the way I'm rubbing it. I'm making sure that I gather all the fillings together. And as I am rubbing the fish roll, I am twisting the edges at the same time. Another very crucial part. If you don't twist the side properly, it's still going to open. And you don't want that. So I'm twisting the side uh, while I'm rolling it. And when you do that, this is how firm and uniform and nice your fish roll is looking like. You can see my edge is very thin and it sticks to the fish roll. So that will prevent it also from opening while I am frying. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process until I am done with all the fish roll. And then when I am done, I'll come back. So I went ahead and did everything. This is how they were looking like. You can see all those pinch marks. That is from my nails, guys. Listen, these fake nails don't favor you in every situation. So I went ahead and I warmed up my oil. I dropped a little bit of dough to check if it was hot and ready, and it was. So I'm adding my fish roll. Sorry, guys. Like everyone was sleeping. I just, I didn't have any help and I didn't want to use my tripod. So that's why you see all the shakiness. But I went ahead and added everything. And then it has been cooking for some time or frying for some time. You can see none of the fish roll opened. They all are sticking together. None at all is opening. And that is because I use uh, the egg to rub the fish roll. So yeah guys, um, I have been turning it uh, from side to side. Making sure that you know it fries evenly. And none of the other side is browner than the other. So guys... Why we are here waiting for our fish roll to finish frying. I just want to take this moment to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. That way uh, you encourage me to make more videos like this. Yeah, so um, it is frying and after a while it was done and look at how crunchy it was looking like. It was looking so crunchy. It tasted so good. We had it for breakfast. So yes, guys. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.